Are you somebody that is curious about macro photography, trying to get detail shots in your video, but you're not quite ready to pull trigger on a good macro lens? Well, I've got a solution for you today. <gasps> Extension tubes. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? So over the past week, I got a question on one of the comments in my videos asking how to get good, close-up, detailed shots. The question became, should I buy a macro lens? Is that something that I should do? My answer was actually, I wouldn't quite yet because macro lenses, while they are great, are a little bit expensive. So my solution for that person was to look into extension tubes and actually recommended some that I bought over probably about a year and a half ago and they're around 18 bucks. It's a great way to figure out if you really are into macro photography or you know want some macro shots for your videos without having to break the bank and potentially buying a macro lens. So what is the benefit of going and using macro tubes. And what are macro tubes? So extension tubes or macro tubes, whatever you want to call them, they're basically little spacers. So you can see here, they're little spacers. They have, most of them have like a 10 millimeter and a 16 millimeter spacer. Every lens has a minimum focusing distance. And so what these do is basically it creates space between the lens, the back of the lens and the camera, which inevitably creates space between the and the sensor. So what it allows you to do is basically get closer to your subject, which is what normally a macro lens would do, is allow you to get very close, very detailed shots. Uh, but this will allow you to do that with basically any lens. So you can take any lens that you have currently, slap an extension tube on it, and it will allow you to get a little bit closer to your subject because it has a little bit more space between the and the sensor. Most extension tubes come in a set of two. I've seen some with a set of three. Basically, it's just different lengths uh, that you can extend that space. So this one has a, a 10 millimeter and a 16 millimeter, and you can actually combine it to get 26. I'll give you a couple example shots. One, just kind of basic, one with a 10 millimeter, one with a 16 millimeter, and one at 26 millimeters. So that's kind of what they are. So why are extension tubes beneficial? Well, one is simply coming down to price. These are $18. If you're curious about getting into macro photography or macro videography, feeling like you need to go out and buy a whole new lens can get a little bit pricey. So if you're just kind of curious about what some macro shots may look like, or just trying to get a couple of quick macro shots, but not have that be kind of your primary go to, this is a great solution. These are $18 on Amazon. So being able to kind of get into macro photography for $18 can't beat that. Again, that's the theme of my channel, trying to get in those budget level, budget alternatives so that you can get into these creative spots without breaking the bank. And so $18, I would consider not breaking the bank. Uh, and of course, I'll leave a link below. So the first reason why these are super helpful is just simply price. Come on, $18, that's like two Chipotles. Oh, I could really use some Chipotle right now. No time. Anyways, so price is one of the biggest reasons. Then the other reason is the fact that it's so, they're so just lightweight and compact. You know, these are, are plastic. You know, they're nothing really to them. But the fact that like, I can just throw these in my bag and, and probably even just keep them there. If I want some detailed shots, I don't need a, another lens to get into. You know, that's additional glass, that's additional metal that may be in there. And so it's just adding more weight to my bag. Again, we all know that struggle. You probably have a pretty sizable bag already. And so being able to kind of just throw these in there and if you need any detail shots, kind of snapping it on the back and going. So having the price, having the lightweight, you don't need a whole nother lens in there is really helpful. So you may be saying, Anson, Okay, well, these are $18. Why would I ever buy a macro lens? Uh, and I'll be honest, I haven't yet pulled a trigger on a macro lens. But the reason why you would still pull a trigger on a good macro lens is because these are not as versatile as a macro lens. Macro lenses are normal lenses that have a better focusing distance so you can get super close shots or have the ability to zoom into a subject to get super close. They're normal lenses. And so you can 
have one lens where you're, you know, maybe taking photographs. I've seen a lot of macro lenses be really good for things like portrait photography because maybe they have really good compression. And so they're just a little bit more versatile than just, you know, tubes. And so that's one reason why if you're getting into macro photography, if you get these tubes even and you're like, I really enjoy macro photography, I really enjoy like getting some macro shots for my video, you may want to eventually consider moving to a full on macro lens, especially if it becomes one of those things that you're known for or specialize in, you'll definitely want to invest in a good macro lens at that point. So with all that being said, who would I recommend this for? I would recommend this to anybody that is trying to get into macro photography or macro videography, but is not quite sure. They're seeing a lot of photos online, they're seeing a lot of videos use macro shots, and they're just, they're kind of curious about it, but maybe don't have a budget to go out today and buy a good macro lens. And so those are the people that I would recommend this for. Again, this has been me for the last year and a half. I don't do enough macro photography or enough macro shots in my video to justify getting a full on macro lens. And so I'm still rocking these. Uh, and I actually just took a picture of the Anson & Co logo buttons. I've used these in vlogs. I have some B-roll of some older vlogs that I've done where I've used these. Uh, to get some close-up shots. I think one of them was why creators should always carry a notepad and pen. Uh, I got a couple of macro shots there, so if, if I haven't already, I'll throw those up now. Again, if, if you're kind of curious about macro photography or videography, you're just kind of trying to get your feet wet, don't want to pull the trigger on a full-on macro lens, this is definitely an affordable way to get your feet wet in macro photography or videography. So I hope this has been helpful. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you're digging the content coming from the channel, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll see you here next time. Go and find your journey, go embrace life. And if you align yourself with that motto, consider going to my shop, which is gonna be the description below, purchasing the Embrace Life stickers, which will help support the channel. The link in the description for the extension tubes will also help support the channel. So if, you, if you're interested in buying these, use the link in the description. With that being said, enough rambling from me. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. Shh. I went to a, a hardcore show last night. Uh, August Burns Red. Love those guys. Uh, I, you know, you're a dad when you go to a hardcore show. You're not. I'm not big into like merch, like band T-shirts. They never fit me the way I want to. But I went last night and I saw that they're that because I think a lot of the guys have kids. Uh, they have a toddlers and kids t-shirt and I was just like, I have to get this. I spent $25 on a 3T t-shirt, this big, $25 and I was like, I got to, I got to. How can I not? So it was fun. I had a blast. If you ever have a chance, if you're into hardcore metal, you ever have a chance to see August Burns Red, I know a lot of people in the hardcore metal scene are like, they're too polished. Ugh. They put on a great show. I have always been impressed with their shows. They're just, they, they're clean, super polished, super clean, and I appreciate it. So shout out to August Burns Red. Thank you for the great show. Um, yeah. See you guys next time.